Hello everybody, Pat the Video Guy here, and um, someone asked a question the other day, uh, what's the best pellet smoker out there for grilling steaks? Best pellet smoker for grilling steaks. And I totally understand the question, but after doing this for about five years and different pellet grills and whatnot, it's not really a fair question. And let me use a, a photography analogy. Can you imagine going to a a famous photographer and telling them, boy, your camera takes great pictures. <laughs> yeah, try that with your photography friends. Uh, the camera is only part of the equation, right? The photographer is the one who's really making everything happen. And it's the same way, I think, in my opinion, um, when it comes to grilling steaks on a pellet grill. In fact, let me break it down even further because I, I think there's really four parts to it. And part of it is going to be starting off with the meat. The type of meat you choose. Are you choosing something that's really lean, uh, low quality? If you're doing that, it's automatically going to start off, no matter how great your grill is, it's already starting um, with a real handicap there. And so, you know, the quality of meat is part of the equation, a big part. I'm going to say 25% of the equation. Another 25% of the equation is, is how the meat is seasoned. Um, and some people don't want to do anything with it. Some people just want to put a little salt and pepper on the meat. Some people, like me, want to get a rub on there, maybe even tenderize it a little bit. And the seasoning can happen before the steak goes on the grill and after. Like maybe adding some kind of seasoned garlic butter to it afterwards and stuff. All of that goes to um, adding a lot of great seasoning to your meat. Um, so that's another, another part of it. Um, another part is the actual... Uh, pellet grill itself, I've got a couple here, the pellet grill you use and the pellets you use. Now let me talk about the pellets real quick. The pellets, um, you're going to find some out there that burn hotter than others but, are, but don't give off a lot of smoke. Others that are smokier and give a smokier, more robust smoke flavor. And so experimenting with different pellets is important, okay? But uh, that will have an effect on the overall um, you know how well your your steak comes out now the actual grill uh, the, the reality is anymore there's a lot of great grills out there I happen to really like a pit boss Austin XL for my grilling it's a great machine great looking machine great functioning machine but a lot of them are great anymore and so there's Traegers and Camp Chef and Rectech pit boss Z grill there's, there's a bunch of them and they have all kinds of uh, different features and levels of uh, you know accessories and whatever else that's on there and so in my, in my opinion I think you should get the grill that you that has the features that you want at a price you feel comfortable with but don't let twenty or fifty dollars keep you from getting the grill you really want if you're really bouncing between the two don't let twenty dollars or fifty dollars keep you back from getting the grill you really want that's my recommendation to you this is a long-term investment okay don't let 20 or 50 bucks keep you from getting the grill you really want. But but don't go overboard on a grill name either. Um, there are some people out there that they are Traeger fans and it's only Traeger and that's it. And you're not going to convince them of anything else. It's like Ford and Chevy. I, I'm not a I'm not hung up on a name. I want I want the features. Show me that everything works right, works well. They all pretty much work the same. You've got pellets that go in here. There and an auger that takes them here and it gets hot in here and you have a thermometer here and a thermometer here and so I recommend when you do your research for the right kind of pellet grill um, read the reviews read the questions check out the community forums and see what people are saying and um, if what you're if overall if you like what you see then you know you can probably feel comfortable about it if you keep seeing the same kind of problems creep up or the warranty isn't very long customer service is lousy um, whatever I mean look for alarms but look you know take into account that there are no perfect pellet grills out there there just aren't they're all gonna have their problems um, but uh, if you can find something that has far more positive uh, Far, the negative and has the features that you want, something that looks great for you, functions well, um, then you'll probably be happy with it. Okay? Finally, the last 25% is going to be you. You, the grill master, and how you, you personally, pick out the meat or someone who knows what they're picking out can do for you. How well you season and prepare your meat how how um, how well you and your grill get along now this this may sound kind of funny 
but you are going to develop a relationship with your grill kind of like a guitar player and the guitar and they all have their preferences you need to learn your grill whichever grill you get and they're all going to be different you need to learn how your grill works and you need to sync up with it you need to find out it does it have hot spots cold spots does it um, are there any um, idiosyncrasies about it does do you have to wait a long time before it heats up they all have even two two pit bosses two identical machines they're going to be a little different you have to learn the differences in the grill you choose and once you learn it and get used to it and understand how it cooks then you're going to get you're going to get better and you're going to you know you're going to get the merit badge for being the best barbecue guy on the block but that's going to take time let me say something about that um, if you you know start off and practice with your with your pellet grills start with some cheap cuts of meat like chuck eye um, chuck roast chuck eye cheap steaks and figure out that get the timing down for your grill mine um, anymore I put my my um, uh, my Austin XL here I put it on about 450 and about an inch thick cut of, cut of meat I'll, I'll wait till it gets to temperature and then I will put it on there after I season it. so I'll put it on there uh, for about four to five minutes aside my wife and I like our steaks about uh, medium rare ish somewhere around in there and so I put it on there four to five minutes aside at 450 degrees and this guy it has a slider plate for direct flame but I leave that closed because this thing gets hot enough to do that and I get grill marks and everything it's a it's a beautiful experience but it took me a while to get there it took me a while to understand how my Austin XL works and how I work with it so that's what I recommend practice with it be willing to try different rubs different seasonings different cuts of meat um, and be be willing to make the investment in getting to know your grill so my answer to the question what is the best pellet smoker for grilling steaks it boils down to the grill that you work with best that has the features you want and then add the other things about it get good cuts of meat season it well season it the way you want it um, learn how your pellet grill works and the right kind of pellets you want to use and finally you you take the time to learn it and in there in that whole mix you're gonna find the best pellet smoker for grilling steaks for you okay all right hopefully you found this helpful and um, I'd love for it if you would subscribe to the channel and we'll, we'll let you know about more videos that are coming out there are links below this video that um, link to various um, products or you know um, some of my favorite ideas or even cookbooks or want to check the links below and um, finally give it a like love it if you share the video and come back again and we'll do some more of this um, check out pelletsmokergrill.com as well that's one of my latest website endeavors with lots of grilling and smoking tips and ideas so there you go have a great day we'll see you soon